I spent pretty much uh, 13 to 21 in the West Coast of America, ending up in Los Angeles in 1969. And I was there to go to California Institute of the Arts, which is better known as CalArts. Um, and there was a guy called Robert Criscow, who was the Village Voice music critic, uh, who had been hired as a popular culture lecturer. So uh, I took that class because it sounded interesting. And in the first week, he handed out a, a bunch of records to everybody in the class and said, I want you to write a review. And the next week after we handed them in, he said, you're the only guy in the class that has a hope of knowing how to write. Uh, if you'd like to, I'll teach you how to become a rock critic. So wow. I said, yes, and off we went. And that kind of, he opened the door. He, he um, talked to the editors at Cream. And so I got to know them and started posting pieces there. And also, and then it grew. I did some stuff for Rolling Stone for a Boston paper called Fusion. Yeah. Um, some others. And that's how, uh, so I was writing and the Aretha Franklin piece was for Korean.